Hello and welcome back to my another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to install a driver HP Laser Z P1102W with your computer. So let's take a look how to do that. First of all, and in order to do that, I hope you already unbox your printer and you had set properly and you had add some paper in this printer and now we will uh, connect this printer with the power cable so in this printer power cable is back side you can see here this is the back side where is the printer power cable i hope you got already the power cable inside the box so we're going to uh, connect this power cable right over here and then we're going to also connect a usb cable i hope you also get this printer connected to usb cable inside the box if it is not you have to buy one and then install for the computer if you want so you're going to uh, put this printer connector over here you can see i had already added this printer connector and then another uh, this usb slot I'm going to put in my uh, this laptop or if you are on this desktop put in your desktop USB slot now I am going to turn on my printer first of all you have to turn on your printer and then you can see uh, this printer is turned on and also we're getting here the light yellow color and also we get hearing the sounds that this printer is started now one thing's more if you have this printer like you are using this printer uh, old to be very this and then you are using with the new computer or you forget the printer driver even uh, if you have the printer driver but you are using a notebook a laptop which is not supported dvd drive or uh, your dvd drive damage or you lose the uh, setup file so in this case i will show you to how you can also directly download the set of files from the internet and then let on how you install this printer with your computer now i am going to open my favorite web browser and then here i am going to type that web bra uh, printer uh, name in web browser so i'm going to type this printer model hp p1102 w and in space i'm going to type here driver and hit enter we will see uh, this driver will give us from HP supported soft website so I'm going to click over there and then we'll see it's directly take us to their HP website now you will see here is a different driver option etc things we will see there is writing something which is called recommended that means for this driver uh, for to operate this printer with our computer we need to download this software so obviously you're going to click here download and then it's uh, going to give us option to download we'll see under um, this microsoft vg browser we'll see it's giving a pop option to save are you going to save or not i'm going to click here it's save so it's going to be download in my computer and after that i'm going to install this printer software in my computer one thing's more you, you might be confused or you want to uh, jump over uh, direct to this printer uh, driver i will put this video this link in my video description so you can directly jump over and then you can directly get this uh, printer driver and later on you can delete download to a new computer for installing process we can see already the software is downloaded in my computer now i'm going to click here you can choose here open folder or either you can choose here run so i'm going to click here run to let's run this set of file or let's access this set of file in my computer and later on i um, can install this printer in my computer so we'll see you can see it's just accepting uh, almost done here you can see it's giving us that twist hp legit pro p1102 printer so obviously our is 1102w so i'm going to twist here usb install and then you can also see the begin setup that means whenever you buy this printer from the market and you don't know how to unbox or did you is it you, you had unboxed properly for this uh, printer work so you can also check this being setup 
and you can see uh, just click here play button and then you will see how you, ha you can unbox uh, this printer properly and then later on it's ready for you to use like that what I had uh, set up in my uh, table so now we will click uh, this install printer software so we'll click here and then let's see what it is giving we'll just minimize this skin so you can see easily so this is the main setup skin so you're going to click you can have there is a two option one is easy install and it's admin so i'm going to choose easy install and then click here next and then i'm again choose one one zero two double so i have to choose this one first one which is p one one zero zero w that is the uh, printer uh, for same uh, series so i'm going to choose that and then I'm going to click here next and here you can see it's giving us option to configure this printer over the wireless network configure this printer using USB configure to configure uh, wireless network printer so this printer also supported wireless network but I'm going to uh, configure this printer with the USB so I'm going to choose this middle one which is I think configure the printer using USB and then I'm going to click here next. Now we can see the installing process is going on and it will take some time and it will take depend on your computer speed. So we will be patient for until this process finish. We can see it's detecting the new device is now connected. That means uh, it is uh, connected. It is already configured that I had added my USB cable with the printer. So that's uh, quite impressive. We'll see what's the last, uh, last step. We can see here it's giving you uh, to uh, enable direct print by using wireless. I can do so if you want. I'm just going to click here disable direct print because I don't want anyone print from my printer uh, from my home or office etc. So I'm just made it uh, not direct. So here the congratulations the software installed complete. That means my software is already installed done. Now here you can see two things take which is one is register your product and it's print this test piece that means if i click here next it's going to be uh, open two things one is this is going to give you a pop of skin for register the product and another is is going to print a test piece so i'm going to just click uncheck this register i don't want to register my product as it is i'm just choose the print the test piece i'm going to click on next and then i'm going to click here finish we'll see uh, there is a, a printing uh, come out and you can see here the sounds and also you will see uh, there is a just now i had printed this test space it just came out automatically now we will see here it's giving you sp laser jet professional p1 and z trouble genuine sp cartridge instead that means in my this uh, cartridge uh, in this printer that is already genuine and this is what they're giving so you're going to click here okay and here also you can see here is another setup which is called say HP e print setup i'm going to do you want to continue this e print setup i'm going to click no because i want only usb setup so this is how you can easily uh, set up your printer with your computer here you can see the last step which is saying uh you have to reboot your pc for work this printer properly but i'm going to click here no for video purpose i'm going to click here no and now We'll see, we'll try to print one the one piece and also we're going to make this printer default. I will check is it printer is default or not. So for that, you have to go on control panel and then click on hardware and sound and then click on device and printer. And here you will see that printer is already installed and it's already default. If it is not default, just right click over there and then choose this set as default printer. Whenever you click and set as default printer, it will appear this yellow color, this green color, I think so. Now let me open a word document and then let me uh, try to uh, print out a test piece. Now if I want to print this piece I have to click here file and then print and then it will give you that your printer is ready. If I click here you can see this is the same printer model just I was installed in front of you guys. So now I am going to click here print and let's see is it printing anything or not you can see you can hear the printer uh, sound and also you can see in the camera there is there something print so this is how you can see just now i have print this uh, printer uh, from this printer so this is how you can easily print or you can easily set up your sp laser jet p1102w with your computer so that's for now
Thanks for watching my video. See you next one. Peace.